Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and tonight I am going to go through how to create a layered SVG in Inkscape. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on the like and subscribe below as that keeps me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. Um, I wanted to go through how to create a layered SVG in Inkscape because there are a few different techniques for you to accomplish this. And I wouldn't say that it's a point of contention, but it's definitely something that we weigh heavily in some of our designer groups um, because there's no really wrong way to create your SVGs when you are doing a colored SVG or a layered SVG for people to print out multiple colors, or cut out rather, multiple colors of vinyl to create their end project. Um, there are some pros and cons to this, mainly that layering um, regular vinyl, um, you can do a certain technique, but if you use the second technique, which we call the puzzle piece technique, it's a little bit more difficult for heat transfer vinyl, also known as HTV because the vinyl tends to shrink. So I'm gonna go through the two different ways that you can do this. Um, the biggest reason why is because if you go with option one, which is the stacking on top of each other, it can get a little bit difficult um, with HTV, depending on what you're using, especially if you're using like a glitter HTV um, and things like that. So really it is personal preference on the end user and most of the times we feel as though people should be comfortable enough with their Cricut or Silhouette software that they understand how to perform the subtract function. Um, regardless, sometimes you may have to help a customer out if you're going with option one, um, whereas with option two, they also have the ability to break things apart and we'll show you how that all works. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna move over to my computer screen and y'all can see what this looks like, okay? So as you can see here, I have this pumpkin outline, okay? because we're getting in the, we're in September, it's fall, y'all. <laughs> so in Inkscape, the first thing that you will do is, and I'm gonna try really hard not to use keyboard shortcuts though, it is difficult for me because I'm so used to them, I'm gonna use the menu bar for y'all. You're gonna go to path, and you're going to go to break apart. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna take all of the white space that's in your outline, and it's gonna create shapes out of it. So I'm just gonna go through and color these in real quick. And to make my life easier, I'm going to do edit pass by node because it is gonna highlight everything in red while I do this so I don't have to try to guess where the shapes are, all right? So it is gonna make my life a little bit easier, okay? All right, I'm just gonna group this for now. So. If we were using technique one, we would be finished right now and done. And the reason why is because when you do that, it is gonna leave a black space where all the white space is on that black part of the vinyl. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. So if you notice, and that group didn't work, did it? Oh, it did, okay. When I drag, whoops, let me, let me get the brown in there too. When I drag this away, it leaves just a black space. Now you can just do this just simply like this for layering purposes, but if you want to take it a step further, what you'll do is you'll subtract the coloring from here and get back to that outline that we had at the beginning, okay? So I'm just gonna go and ungroup this really quickly. And we'll start with the brown. You're gonna select your brown and and you'll select your black outline and you will go to path, difference. Okay, whoops, I missed a step. We wanna keep the colors. Let me go back here. We wanna keep the colors, so what we're gonna to have to do first, my apologies, is we're going to go to edit, duplicate. Now normally I would just hit control D, but for the purpose of this, of this I'm gonna show you where that comes from. So. We're actually gonna duplicate our colors here, okay? Now I can ungroup this. And I'll click on the brown portion here and try to grab that black portion. Here we go. And click on path. 
different and that is going to take that away. So now when I move the brown, you can see that the um, outline is starting to take shape. Okay. And then clicking here on the um, orange portion, we're going to go to path and we are going to go to combine and then we're going to click on the black portion and then we're going to path and difference okay now when you drag this away your outline is there okay so that's the second method that you can do and what this will allow the person to do is cut that thick black outline out the orange and the brown out on three different mats now this is the method that I personally prefer um, because I don't have to go through any extra steps. You can include these instructions in your layered SVGs in the description box or your um, message to your sellers on Etsy because if they prefer the other option, the only thing that they have to do to revert back is, I'm just gonna copy that out for a second, is take this and just go to path, break apart, and then go to path, Union, okay, they're gonna have that. And then we're gonna paste this back here and get it to where it needs to be. Oh man, I have my snapping on. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit finicky for me. Regardless, if I didn't take the color out, all I would have to do is go to path, break apart, and then path union. And now when I, what didn't work, did it? The wrong thing clicked. Okay, path, break apart, path, union. Okay, and now we have our original shape back. I'll have to edit that one I. So you, you can go move forwards and you can move backwards. So watching from the beginning, we started with an outline we broke it out and did this, and then we reverted it back so we could get back to the outline. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, those are the two different ways that you can create your SVGs in a layered technique when you're using multiple colors. Sometimes it can be a bit of a pain. It is a bit of a learning curve. You do wanna check to make sure that your um, shapes match up. There have been times in Silhouette Studio where I will subtract certain things and I'm left over with these like tiny little extra notes. So you always want to make sure that you're testing your files. I'm going to go ahead and save this as pumpkin test SVG. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up in Silhouette Studio. So y'all can see what that looks like. And as you can see, I have this cutie tootie pumpkin that we just created in Inkscape. And when I click on send, you can see that all of my lines are going to be successfully cut out and we're good to go okay so whoops back to the pumpkin that is how you create a layered SVG on Inkscape hopefully this helped you if you guys have any questions at all feel free to let me know drop a comment below go over to the Facebook group um, where we're trying to build a community of like-minded individuals who want to grow their design set skills and their business skills at no cost y'all. So hop on over there if you like. Um, that's all I got for you though. If you haven't already and you got something out of this video, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that keeps me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you guys can grow your business and change your life. If you need anything, let me know. Hope you guys have a great night.